Hey guys, welcome back to Astrocraft. My name is Entac. Today, we are back in the action with a brand new massive update to the game, including 5v5 mode, new modules, new missions. This is going to be awesome. New maps. I'm super excited about this. I think you guys are going to really enjoy this because if you haven't been playing this game, I definitely recommend maybe starting if you're looking for a cool game to play. It's a great vehicle builder and it's super competitive. Let's do it. Now before I get into the patch notes and kind of everything that happened with the game, I'm going to play some competitive mode first, some of the 5v5, King of the Hill, three capture point locations. Uh, I think that once you see what the game mode's like and once you see how competitive this is, you might want to start playing it yourself. It's, it's pretty insane and I'm super excited to show you some of the clips that I recorded today. Okay, so I built Five, a brand new build four, just for this. Three, it is kind two, of similar to one, one that I had in the past. It's a Capture dual uh, booster wall of little drill blades with a grapple hook on it because uh, this, this seems to be the most effective in King of the Hill mode. And really what's actually needed is I need to make a hover build because it is very difficult to deal with said hover builds when you face against them. Now, the cool thing is, is that I, I kind of have found the best way to use this is once I get close to somebody and bring them in, I start boosting at them and I will wind up destroying them eventually. Now, the reason why I have it so low with the little legs is so that I can hit course because this is the only thing I can seem to think of to do to make uh, a build where I can actually hit the course is to essentially I'm gonna get one second I'm gonna get this guy get to get his hovers is to essentially uh, figure out a good placement for a hellblade and, and then put the I know he's here where is he I'm just gonna get lucky if I actually hit him um, yeah I need to find a good placement for hellblade so that it drags a little lower to the ground and so that way I can actually kill some cores because my problem is is that I can get them down to nothing, you know, with a build like this, but I can't seem to to finish it. And I, I'm still trying to figure that out. I got him. Oh no, he's a little little spider. Where is he? Got him. This build wrecks when you play against Oh, there's a rocket guy somewhere. Hello. Yeah, when you play against things that are not hovers, it does a really good job. Uh, when you get to the got him. When you when you play against uh, a lot of the top people in this in in this game mode, they all have hovers, and they are they have even more insane builds than just like a normal little hover build that you might encounter with blades they have just crazy combinations and i don't even know how they thought to design oh crap thought to design some of these builds but uh well, hopefully we'll play with some other guys after this now the thing is is that you want to keep you want to keep okay because i got so many it just i can just keep going um you want to keep a team of five because you have this like elite squad essentially where you play with the same people f uh, three times then you can unlock the big big boy cab or big boy pool or whatever the heck it's called oh man i almost got up there I'm just trying to get out of dodge and i successfully did i don't even know that i can't believe that worked oh my gosh oh black hole Hello. There was a guy. It's like, he didn't attack us. Hi. Hello. <laughs> not see me there. Oh crap. That rocket dude. Got it. Ooh, wow. Didn't even check the smoke. Alright, look. Oh my gosh. He just got a uh, hive minded. That was, I'm glad I was behind the wall. People don't change the placement of the core. When you when you make a build, you should like change the placement of your core. So that way you don't 
like I mean I every time I play people in like storm mode I know exactly oh, I'm gonna die I know exactly where to target because they don't change the placement of their core and so I just like use my MG and basically drill through the blocks that are <sighs> did I did I die at all I don't think <laughs> I don't think I died okay anyway uh yeah that was that was the 5v5 mode it's it's quite intense Okay, these are some of the top guys in the game, and it should be even more intense than the last one, I think. Let's do it. Okay, the problem with this is they're all talking through the in-game. We're not on Discord. I got, they, maybe they are on Discord, but they're talking through the game, and so it might be a little crazy. Let's see if I can hear what they're saying. How our strategy works is that we have two go C, we have two go B, and then we have one that goes A. But there's always gonna be one that's always gonna defend at C, and um, all right, I'll go to C. All right, so they're capturing A already. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go to C. I'll try to defend C a little bit. I think we'll be okay. So, uh, yeah, I wish I, I'll hop on Discord next time. I don't know why I'm doing in game, and I'm not even talking to them because I, I'm trying to record. Are you trying to snipe me right now? Well, he's gonna. Hey man, he oh he almost hit me. He's got a Hellblade that I just. Ate that right up. He he was prepared. That guy was. He you can kind of see a little bit of like a smoky uh, type of blur when somebody's invisible. I always think I have to repair when I don't. What do you got going on, dude? He's looking at me over here. See, you can kind of see it. He's nothing but a cold. Where you going, dude? See, this is the this is the problem. Listen to that stinking. Listen, listen to that. Oh, is that? Oh, I thought for a second that was you, Jim's. Uh, he has this. See, right here. This is a type of build that I'm talking about. It's crazy. These revolver builds are just nuts, and they actually do a ton of damage, and they're angled slightly down, and so they can really mess some people up. So Tronix is like the number one. NA player in, in a lot of the different modes. I think specifically King of the Hill. Um, he's got just insane builds and I don't even think he's using the most insane one right now. He has a hover one that's quite dangerous. No one's coming so... Oh there's a guy. I was gonna like try to assault there. What the heck just happened there? I was gonna try to assault their uh, base. See that's what I try to do is go He's not using his Hellblade, thankfully. I just went straight at his Hellblade. Uh, yeah, I tried to take off the hovers first, which, honestly, when I use this build and I'm boosting around, I I feel like I'm pretty good and I know what I'm doing and I can control it. But in all reality, it's just like sometimes I get lucky. I'm not going to lie. The problem is, is that when you play with these people that are so good, after a while... What's gonna happen? We're gonna just dominate people and then we're gonna start <laughs> rushing the spawn probably. But I, I'm gonna try, eh, I don't think so. I'm just gonna be aggressive. Got him, come here dude. Is that guy, is he sniping? Oh, rocket guy. Get him. Get him. Get him. GG, oh there it is, victory. So you got three different three different capture points. First team to 100% is the winner. So that's what just happened. But we have to control all of them, and that can be intense. Okay, I built a new build. It's like a hover build. It's like a wall of drills, essentially. We'll see how it goes. These guys have insane builds, and you, Jims, is he's got this crazy revolver build that is just nuts, and I really want to make it. Uh, yeah. So I'll do another match, and then we'll cover kind of what's what's happened in the game but i just thought i'd do all the competitive stuff before i even do that just because i mean let's be real you guys want to sit and read patch notes <laughs> you want to watch people die yeah we'll go with that all right so they're capping b again it's hard to hear because of the game because of the sound the game sound and also because of uh it's just i don't have it mixed right GG, dude. I got it. 
Ooh. They almost look like when people just have white. Hello. <laughs> when people just have white uh, vehicles, it just makes me think of that they're bots, even though I know that they're not. Oh crap. I guess it could be a good way to deceive people. Uh, excuse me? Thank you. I was like kidding, get off that thing. That guy's bill looks cool. Okay, we gotta get to the repair station. Please be up. Okay, it is. Yikes! I might die here. Oh, crud. Oh, no. Oh, oh! That is extremely helpful. Team heal heals? Yeah, get those hovers. He's still flying around because it's like one hover right in the middle of his build is able to keep him up. Okay, GG. Oh, he's got the new blades already. So there's a roulette, and so you can... Oh, this is the thousand meter thing. Can't tell who's who. Um, which one of his cores is the right one. Yeah, uh, what was this thing? Oh, the roulette thing, so you can get different things. Different, you know, different things you can win. And that one is actually in the New Year's one where you have to, like, you progress a couple stages or whatever. I can't, I don't know. You roll a dice and it gives you, like, how many times you can move forward and there's different different things you can win. So I don't really particularly like being up in their zone. Not because we could die easily, but because it. I don't like thinking about, like, how your actions could make people not play the game because you wreck their face too much. But it is... It definitely lets you control the game a lot, a lot more. Which I guess is, good. <laughs> which I guess is a good thing. Guy flipping all over. Hi, man. Yeah, you did. So here's the thing, right here. Can't hit this guy. So I just made this new build. Can't hit him. I have to figure out how to put Hellblades on this. That's the problem right there. Oh, I got wrecked by that YouTuber guy. Um, a lot of these guys are actually YouTubers. They're like, you know, iOS or Android, like mobile mobile game YouTubers. And so they play different mobile games. Um, so he's, so Caster, that build, he is, he gets tons of kills with this build. And uh, yeah, so I, that's my, that's my problem. I have to figure out how to kill cores with this build. I, but, I, and I know the, I know the answer is Hellblades. Cause you can see right here, like, Tronix has got a build. It's insane. He's got like a leg in the front or something. I don't even know. Um, but he, he's able to take out stuff easily. This new game mode basically is capture point and you have three different capture zones instead of one. And so now you have King of the Hill, which is just a single and then three. So you got like domination and you still have to reach 100% energy. So basically this could be nuts, very competitive. So this new capture point uh, will be on, there's going to be different maps. So First is capture point map, asteroid base, and then a larger, bigger map, which I don't know if that's asteroid base or if it's, uh, it's kind of sounds like that maybe is what it is. Then 5v5 players, then there's new modules. Okay. And this is, this is cool. This is really cool. Um, and we'll see if they're all, if all of them are listed here. Cause I saw some in the video that I don't think they're listed big guy, which is a heavy core. And this is kind of like a quad track build. Uh, a little core so imagine like it's a really big core two by two by two so it's it's fairly large uh monopod it's gonna be a little bit more durable and it can temporarily defend against all damage and so basically it's gonna be hard to take this out it's not gonna be as easy to grind it down with like the you know the base core or whatever so this is gonna be really a really good core to have and and watching the transformation of it is pretty cool so then there's the glider the expand glider after use allows arms to glide through the air now here's the thing this is gonna be really interesting how you can get this it's basically gonna be a part of this friend aid event and basically this glider uh, it's really expensive, like 80000 but you can actually get it for free by participating in the friend event. And basically what that 
is is you can invite friends to increase your aid progress so it's 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 hoping for competitive play and getting people to play together and then basically you progress with this aid progress and then eventually once that bar gets full you get the glider for free and the glider is really freaking cool because you essentially can fly through the air which is uh which is pretty pretty exciting so this is what the glider is okay watch this this is cool Boom, it just comes out and then you can fly through the air. Like that is so cool. So that's what the glider will be like. And I think it's going to be a very popular thing that people want to uh, get. Okay, so then there is the Wolf Pack, which is a group optical cloak. It's an ultra skill module, and basically it turns the cloak on for you and your teammates in the vicinity. So it does have a radius effect, basically, but everybody gets cloak, which is awesome. The Benefactor, which is a repair kit storage unit. If you watch the most recent video that they put out, um, you can see this in there. In King of the Hill mode, first use will absorb surrounding repair kits. Uh, release again to quick repair a teammate arms. There's the Thousand Mirror, which is a copier. It's an ultra skill. And you use it on any arms to transform it into the target arms for a, per for a period with access to all the skills. So you can copy the other player's build, which is awesome. So uh, the event starts... On February 5th, all new cores, modules, decals, avatars, frames, and tons of skins are going to be waiting to be uh, obtained. So the brand new 5v5 mode, you can get the elite squad formed and get your big guy heavy core, which is a little bit more durable. And yeah, other than that, uh, that's pretty much the updates. There's also a rocket thing that was teased, but from what I can see, it doesn't look like there's anything about this rocket thing and so i'm not entirely sure what's up with that but i'm very much looking for it could be a skin i guess for the hive mind maybe that might be what it was anyway needless to say i hope you guys uh enjoyed today's video thank you for watching uh this 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 game's only gonna get better i think and it's super competitive and if you're not in it you should definitely check it out and give it a shot uh just be weary of <laughs> king of the hill and crazy people